a shootout in the Spanish town of Cambrils in the early hours of Friday morning. Moments earlier, a car had been driven at police. The five people inside shot dead by officers. Police say they were wearing fake suicide vests and are suspected terrorists linked to another vehicle attack in Barcelona hours earlier. Just as we got to the seafront, we heard shots. We began to run. We saw one person lying on the pavement with a shot in his head. Then 20 to 30 metres further on, we saw two more people who must have been terrorists as they had explosive belts around them. We were worried, so we hid. The Cambrils incident is being linked to this deadly van attack in the heart of Barcelona on Thursday. A rented white van turned into a weapon to kill as many people as possible along the famous Las Ramblas. Witnesses say it deliberately weaved from side to side, killing more than a dozen people and injuring many more. The driver ran away on foot and is still being hunted by police. We just heard gunshots down my street. I don't know what the hell's going on. The van passed just by my side, very fast. Everything went through very fast, people flying over and jumping. I see the van moving forwards and the policemen running after them. People were frightened. The photo released is of Dris Ubakir, whose documents were used to rent the van in Barcelona. But local media reports suggest he's told police he's not involved and that his documents were stolen. I want to express the solidarity of the whole of Spain with Barcelona, today hit by jihadist terrorism, like other cities around the world before it. Police are also investigating links to a huge explosion at a house in Alcanar on Wednesday night. Officers say residents had been trying to make explosives using gas cylinders. It all points towards another coordinated attack in another European country, and one that the security forces fail to stop. As three days of mourning are declared, it's feared the death toll could rise.